Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to the show, Russell Crab Radio. Yes. <laughs> Promotional consideration paid for by the following. An escort service. Charging out, uh, renting out skanks. Did I tell you that there used to be an escort service ran out of my apartment? <laughs> She used to have a client that would would pay her so he could suck the milk out of her lactating nipple. <laughs> Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Remember the Pollo Bandito? Correct. I went there for Cinco de Mayo. They've changed the menu. Is it... What happened? There's no longer a Pollo Bandito. What is it, a Yankee Bandito? No, I, 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 I am totally not making this up. The food item there that was the Pollo Bandito, still there. Only now, it is called, I'm not making this up, the Pollo Fundito. I just like it when I, people put the word fun in front of things. In front of food items, right? Hello, everyone. This is your Action News reporter with all the news that is news across the nation on the scene at the supermarket. There seems to have been some disturbance here. Pardon me, sir. Did you see what happened? Yeah, I did. I was standing over by the tomatoes, and here it comes. It's it's all it's it's a known fact that Booberry is my favorite cereal of all time when I was mm-hmm. a child. But do you know what my second favorite cereal was when I was a child? Mm-hmm. You'll never guess. I I'm sure I won't. It was called C W Post. I re- I remember that cereal. I didn't even understand Dude. what the name of it was. Yeah, I mean it's like eating a cereal. It's like eating a cereal entitled Artie Reynolds. It doesn't make any fucking sense. But anyway, it was good, though, wasn't it, man? It like granola, and it had a bunch of sweet stuff, mm-hmm. like grape nuts. You... What happened to C.W. Post? Maybe he's no longer with us. Maybe he transitioned into the television network business. Perhaps, there you go. Mm-hmm. So that cereal stuff, I'm not making enough money. Yeah, you know... You know, these fu- these kids today, when they think of a CW post, they think of a guy getting rammed into the side of a wrestling ring on a Friday night. Uh-uh. No. CW post is the second greatest series of all time. I tell you to Google it, but there's no, it, there's no information on the net. It's like it didn't even exist. Only here, obscure wrestling news, right here on WrestleCrap Radio. Uh. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about the the ele- the uh, the uh, election dealy majabbers. The primaries yeah. were were recently. They were this week here in Indiana, as everybody knows. Right. And probably heard that that Hillary Clinton squeaked by a victory here with the, against the Ob- uh, our friend Barack. Yeah. If you, every time I see him, I actually ask Mrs. Deal. I said, Mrs. Deal, who are you going to vote for in this election? And she goes, I, I, I'm not making this up. And she was as serious as a heart attack. She goes, mm-hmm. I was going to vote for Obama. But every time I see him now, I hear, if you smell what Barack is cooking, and I cannot vote for a man that would say that. That whole thing. John McCain... Obama and Hillary Rodham Clinton is so embarrassing. Seriously. Can you visualize seeing Ronald Reagan and Walter Mondale on, like, wrestling? I mean, Ronald Reagan, him being on, like, wrestling back then. It's so ludicrous. Same way with Michael Dukakis. Why not have him be the guest manager of the Mega Powers at SummerSlam 88? I feel like I'm talking to, like, Doc Brown. No. <laughs> Question of the week time. 
question of the week time. It's uh, not award winning, not prize winning, but it is, in fact, the question of the week. And if you, fellow crappers, want to want to chime in and, and get your question read on the air, all you have to do is go to WrestleCrap.com, go to the WrestleCrap radio link, and we have a little hyperlink there, and you can send in your questions. And if your if your question is adequate. Let's face it, how much competition do you have? There's only 11 other people that listen to this show. And I swear to God, it seems like every third week that fine young egg, Seth Draken, sends the question in. Not this week. Must be really? must be the second week, because it's 15th listener. He says he's the 15th listener. Hmm. I don't know how he would get these numbers. I don't know if he has some type of WrestleCrap Radio census going on. Uh... Maybe he gets maybe he's, he gets the overnights. He figures he gets, out he, knows. he gets our ratings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wonder if Eric Bischoff ever looks at our ratings. Remember, he used to be like obsessed with them. I bet he is obsessed with our ratings. I bet who, who wouldn't be obsessed with the WrestleCrap Radio ratings? <laughs> wouldn't it be hot if he tried to like <laughs> raid? Wouldn't it be hot if he tried to raid talent from this show? In order to pluck listeners away from us, like he he would like he like fork out a bunch of like uh, an outrageous sum of money to get Crankor away from us. Mm, I would really hope Crankor wouldn't. Uh... Hey, Crankor, I got a question for you. If Eric Bischoff came up to you and offered you a bunch of money, what would you say to him, buddy? This is the end for you. See, Crankor's not going anywhere. Ah, oh, he's loyal. He reminds me. Reminds me of tr- Tommy Dreamer and East from ECW. Mm-hmm. Question of the week is from uh, 15th listener Austin Gilliam, who writes... Now, I, remember this, I remember this guy, because I remember we had like a five-minute discussion about how to say his name last time. Well, this this week I just went like that. Just rolled right is it, through. Is it Gilliam or Gilliam? Gilliam, Gilliam. Can we continue, please, so this show is not six hours long? All right, I will. I will not make any creature from the Black Lagoon references in regards to the first half of his name. Gilman. Wonder if anybody ever, has ever called Austin the Gilman. <laughs> Reminds me of. The, did I ever tell you that I starred in a horror movie where I wore a bootleg creature from the Black Lagoon mask and went around? That creature from the Black Lagoon mask wearing character of mine was named Scales, like a fish. And I made a MySpace page, a tribute page to him, myspace.com slash scaleface. And check this out. When Kevin Smith made Clerks 2, he, um, all like the first 10,000 friends of the MySpace page were listed in the credits. So yes, if you go out and rent Clerks 2, my bootleg creature from the Black Lagoon mask wearing a horror movie character is listed in the credits of Clerks 2. Scales, a.k.a. Spellface. How's that for obscure Clerks Blade Braxton is? Fellow crappers, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break character here for a moment, if I may. His name was Gilliam. Gilman, creature from the Black Lagoon. I'm going to break character for a second. I'm going to take the headphones off. I'm going to, I'm going to explain to you something. Before we started the show this evening, I actually said to Mr. Braxton, we have a lot of stuff to cover. You can't go off on tangents. Don't go off on tangents. Or this show is going to be, pardon my French, six fucking hours long! Now... The guy, the first half of his name was is, Gil. Is, is the, is the hours tick on, and as I'm laying on my deathbed, I'm going to be thinking, boy, I'd have had five more hours on this earth if it weren't for that night that I told Blade, we got a lot of stuff to cover, don't go off on a bunch of fucking tangents. <laughs> his next last name is close to resembling the Gil Man. The Gil Man. For Christ's sakes, you have a creature with a black lagoon pinball machine in your house. 
I've played the fucker. This is my only chance to talk about my Creature from the Black Lagoon mask, bootleg mask character being in the credits of Clerk 2. Clerks 2, and one I of my favorite him. movies of all time. And I begged him. And I begged him. Please, don't make this show six hours long. No one wants to listen to a six-hour show. But it doesn't they, matter, because anytime there's some nothing happening tangent, he has to go off on it. People tune in for Creature from the Black Lagoon references. What's the question? Let's get, let's get the show rolling. Dear Mr. Braxton, please describe your first alcoholic experience if you can remember it. Hmm. I was... Let's see here. That's the thing, man. You know, I don't have, like, a big bombastic story of, like, being drunk and, you know, doing stuff like that. I just, uh, you know, I was, like, 16, and I used to work at a grocery store, and I would just go into the back, and it was like a, you know, it resembled a mom-and-pop grocery store. Mm-hmm. It was called Fally's, mm-hmm. affiliated with the Food for Less Corporation. Mm-hmm. And I would, just drink, I would just drink beer in the back, and we'd throw it in the trash can. I wish I could have something more exciting than that. Wow. How about that? We haven't heard this in a while. We haven't heard this in a while. You see, when I'm pressed up against the wall and my gimmick is stolen from me, I'm going to... I'm gonna. It's a good time to shoot and do off like the song says. It is in fact a good time to Scooby Doo what? I think what we need to do, <clears throat> and I think what you have in mind, is you're gonna show this young punk how you do things around here, how we handle business. Always, we have the finest music. When I pay for sex, well, I know I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be the man who pays for sex with you. When I'm broke, well, I know I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be the man who's broke because of you. If I get arrested, well, I know I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be the man who's arrested next to you. And if I get crabs. Well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man with crowds because of you. But I would spend ten thousand bucks, and I would spend ten thousand more just to be the man who spent twenty thousand bucks to fuck a tranny whore. When I'm spunking, yes, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's spunking on you. And when Vince fires you, for the whoring work you, I guess I'll keep spunking on you. But I would spend ten thousand bucks and I would spend ten thousand more just to be the man who spent twenty thousand bucks to fuck a tranny whore. <laughs> 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 <la